early. So let's go to the starting 11 now. Don Beholden, Damian Hyatt, Shaquille Dyer, Sean Duaro, Sean Taylor. Romari McPherson, Zelano Barnes gets a start this afternoon. Demario Phillips, Fabian McCarthy, Dwayne Smith, Nicoy Christian, and Dean Andre Thomas for coach Harold Thomas. And they'll be playing with a 4 2 3 1. And yeah, no Atafaroy by Grieve. Big miss that for Dumbo holding up front, but they'll try to. And as I say, Zelano Barnes with his pace and left footed ability will come into that lineup. Then we're going to turn to the Arnett Garns 11 right now. And uh, look at Maximus Davis in goal, Earl Simpson, Ezra Simpson, so the Simpsons at centre half, Janoy Cunningham, Shandy James, Marlon Martin, Ajuma Johnson, Romeo Guthrie, Kimani Arborn, Ronaldo Cephas, and Steve Clark. 4 3 3 for them, Shandy James comes in, and as I said, Ronaldo Cephas, look out for him. Certainly the most pacey team in this Premier League that we've seen so far this season. And ex after seven match weeks in this Jamaica Premier League, the full game highlights are running now. Arbon with the first chance of the game, it hit his back from Steve Cross, Steve Clark's free kick. Then look at this from Earl Simpson, Zelana Barnes manufactured a shot on target, the awkward bounce, and Earl Simpson was there to block his effort. Looked a certain goal there, notwithstanding the presence of Ajuma Johnson on the goal line. For Sean Taylor. Fires this one to Dean Andre Thomas under pressure, but he turns, shoots between the legs of Ezra and Simpson, but into the grateful arms of Maximus Davis in goal. And then Cephas went on a run. Guthrie back to Cephas and the snapshot kept out sharply, sharp save by Damien Hyde to his right. And then look at Azuma Johnson, nudges it around Taylor and will whip the cross in. That's going to be finished. Luca Kong with a thunderous right, a left-footed effort, crashing into the roof of the net. The man who was a first-half substitute replacing the injured Shandy James. Giving that one some violence. And with it, the lead for Arnett Gardens. Arboin. This will result in a brilliant save by Damien Hyatt. Steve Clark must score from here, but he can't because Hyatt keeps it out of the right boot. Top save, and then this pass opening up the defense. To Damari Deacon, checks on the left foot and swings with the same foot, beating Damien Hyatt at his near post. The former teammates coming face to face, and Deacon winning this duel with Damien Hyatt for 2 0. Arnett Garns up and running. Booked for his celebration, but he won't mind that. Then Nicole Christian very late in the game. Mix up in the box and a Tafaroy Bygrave. Ace marksman sweeping home what was to be a late, late consolation for the boys in blue. It will be a quiet ride, you imagine, back to St. Catherine Ford on beholding. After the players are short and changed and are heading home from the Drax Hall Sports Complex. Critical numbers. Ten shots on target, six by Arnett Gardens. There were 11 fouls, six committed by the junglists, six yellow cards, four for Arnett Gardens players, two offsides, one apiece, seven corners, five to Arnett Gardens, and Arnett Gardens had 54% possession. Chris Taylor is downstairs to do the interviews.